Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Sparks Toyota, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, checking out a 2015 Toyota RAV4 XLE in silver. And the RAV4 is a super popular, smaller SUV on the market. I really love them. They're very comfortable, easy to drive. So let's check it out. It's a really good size off the ground to where it's easy to get in and out of the seat. And it's not, it's not like you're jumping in and, in and out of it and uh, or trying to get down and climb yourself out like some vehicles. But anyways, uh, really good height, good size vehicle. It's very roomy on the inside. And uh, so let's check it out here. It does have the aluminum wheels, 17 inch aluminum wheels. four-wheel disc brakes and they are ventilated four-wheel disc brakes here in the front we do have projector halogen projector headlights with halogen reflector high beams we do have some LED accents there fog lights at the bottom and I like the way the the front end is kind of the bottom doesn't I don't know it, it kind of goes up in the front and gives it like a like a wedge shape so it can pass through the air better or something I, I don't know that's just the way it looks like to me uh, really sporty looking really and it does have the the racks there at the top with the sunroof so let's take a look at the inside here's the inside of the passenger door you can see it does have plenty of room to get in and out of with plenty of leg room too and on the door, we have a uh, cloth, padded cloth part right here for your arm to go. You have like a metallic gray accent here and a carbon fiber look uh, accent here. Then you got a place to put some stuff there on the door, a little storage pocket, your window controls, door lock controls, stuff like that. It does have the black cloth seats with some white contrast stitching, which looks really good and they're very comfortable seats they do have some height off the floor so your knees are not sticking up too far and uh, just overall comfort and space is very impressive in this vehicle it does have this uh, contrast stitching here on the on the soft to the touch dash part there plus a good place to kind of put stuff in this pocket here so i like the way you get into a vehicle and then there's place to put stuff because you always have something in your hand your phone your keys mail something in your hand so when you get in a vehicle i like to have a good easy place to put something out of the way of course you can always use a glove compartment but usually that's full of junk anyway so having little pockets like that are uh, really handy all right so let's take a look at the back and the back seat drivers are also back seat recliners. So they can recline back and tell you how to drive all they want. And of course, you know, they don't have to recline. They can have a, a ver more vertical position there. But as you can see, even with the, all the room in the front, you also have this room in the back with the, the leg room as well as the seating position here. You do have the contrast dishing on the back seats as well. You also have a armrest with some cup holders there inside the back door is very similar to the front just slightly smaller and you can always put the seat down now before you do that you do have to fold the headrest using that button there on the side and then you can you can fold it down it does kind of take two hands to do this so bear with me for a second lift the handle and then you can adjust the seat but then you can also push it all the way down like so so that way it almost it pretty much doubles your cargo capacity which is already significant so speaking of the cargo capacity let's check out the back you see it has the RAV4 badge here in the XLE there's your single exhaust there to the right for the 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine with a six-speed transmission by the way plenty of gear ratios so back here uh, you just basically if you want to open up the back you can just push this button under here and you just kind of get out of the way and it does its own thing. And you see the backup camera lens there, which I'll show you when we get inside. So you can see it goes all the way up. Now you can adjust it by pushing this button. You just put it, move it down to the position you want, push that, push that button, 
hold it down for a couple seconds and it's saved in a new position all right so back here you can see it has a, a shade which let me go ahead and move that out of the way so you can see the rest of it shades handy to keep things out of the Sun also keep things out of sight and just kind of makes it look cooler nicer neater so you do have this plastic cover back here you notice it has uh, these little spaces to you know catch things um, so like say if you put a beach towel or something in here it's going to catch the sand in there and, and, and the plastic so it's easier to wipe out and not in the carpet so look at me here um, you know pretty much everything's plastic it does have this little compartment up here that's out of the way you have some tie there tie downs on the side you have a place right here where your uh, spare tire tools are you have a light there to the left so under here is actually your spare tire and um, so basically you have the spare tire under here and it's a, it looks like a full-size spare tire and a steel wheel and you got some more storage space there now this is a reversible uh, bin so I can flip this over and I can have the carpet on this side facing up or I can have the plastic facing up so it's either way whichever way you want to do it uh, depending on you know what you're putting back here all right so let's go ahead and close it down continue on by pushing that button there and of course if you were to get in the way and uh, it'll stop it's kind of like an elevator where if you're if your body's in the way or if there's a shopping cart in the way it will stop and go back up now of course you want to watch out for young kids with their fingers down here because uh, it still might pinch them but you know as far as large objects it will stop so let's open up the fuel door so we can see in here this is the fuel cap and the fuel cap is um, just standard and it does have this little plastic uh, string to it and so you unscrew it you set it right here it has a little place here for it to, for a holder and that way you can it doesn't hang down and scratch your paint or whatever and it's locking and it's on the driver's side which is all convenient all right let's look in here give you another perspective Take a look under the hood hopefully they didn't cover that 2.5 liter up too much with plastic that seems like the trend nowadays but we will find out oh yeah you can actually see some metal lifting the hood on this it has the insulated battery and that's for keeping it warm and not you know it's fine when the heat is just the, the cold weather is for it messes up batteries but yeah you can see from See some definitely see some uh, some engine here it's got aluminum it's got a little tiny plastic cover but hey that's not covering up much so you can see the 2.5 liter four cylinder on the six speed automatic transmission everything's well designed very well placed not too cluttery and which is a Toyota so you don't ever have to lift the hood <laughs> all right so let's take a look on the inside All right, here we are in the 2015 Toyota RAV4. Very roomy, has plenty of knee room, leg room. Comfortable, everything's well placed. So let's take a look over here. And you can see the, the power windows are kind of slanted your way. Normally your arm can go in this way and then you know you can reach around to the controls here and so it does have the the ability to roll up and down all four windows plus the power door uh, I mean the driver's door is powered uh, auto up and down so you can just push it like that and it goes all the way up and down and then you have your door locks and you can lock out the other windows if you want there to adjust the side mirrors you just choose the side left or right and then you can adjust it with this little pad right here and then you put it back in the center position to avoid uh, messing up the mirrors once you have them set. Adjusting the interior lighting uh, on the dash, you can adjust that, the, the brightness are right here. Also your traction control button is here. This is only the turn it off. Default is on, so the only time you want to turn that off is to, like say if you are stuck, 
or if you need to spin tire or something like that. So you can see it does have the accent stitching on this side as well. So let's take a look here at the steering wheel. Now the steering wheel is pretty neat design. I like it. it it's, a, it's not a leather wrapped or anything like that, but it does have a really distinct look. It's textured here with the bolsters, plus it has a texture, a separate texturing on, on, the, on the outside here. So it has two different textures, which adds to the style, and it's very comfortable. So just touching it, it feels, uh, it's grippy, but it's not, I don't know how to explain it. It's a very comfortable feeling steering wheel. And since it's not leather or anything like that, it's all synthetic, it's easy to clean, and it's easy to maintain, and it'll last a long time. So let's look at the buttons here. We do have a, quite a few buttons. On the left side, this is your volume for your radio. So you can just adjust your volume. And then these buttons, right or left, is for your radio to uh, change through like your presets there on your, your radio. And then the up and down is for changing through, uh, say, like AM, FM, satellite radio, stuff like that. And then you make selections uh, with the center button. And so right here, you can push has this mode button which will allow you to cycle through all the way into the Bluetooth audio system uh, so you can play music off of that also it has a CD player so there's lots of different ways to control the radio there plus you have a back button too so you can get out of certain screens and now on the right side of the steering wheel we have the display mode well I'm sorry a display right here to change the display so I'm going to push it just to cycle through the different displays that options that you have average miles per gallon range um, average per gallon uh, as you're driving and then your odometer and then you have trips as well and you also have miles per hour so just above that button, you have these buttons, which this once you pair your Bluetooth phone, you can make it make it and receive calls using these buttons. So if somebody's calling you, you push this button to answer. Push this button to hang up when you're done talking. And then use this button as a part of the voice recognition system to actually make calls. But you can also say other commands like tune to a certain station or even go to a certain address in the um, navigation. So the, the Bluetooth system and also the voice recognition system very good safety features that keeps your eyes on the road hands on the wheel and you're still able to send and receive calls and make you know use the vehicle uh, to a pretty full extent even though you're not fishing around for buttons and keeping getting your hands off the wheel and looking around uh, so really good safety feature I highly recommend a voice recognition system and Bluetooth systems so let's take a look at these gauges again. You can see they're very classy looking, but very simple. It has a simplistic design. You've got your RPMs there to the left, a little, much bigger gauge there in the middle, which is your speedometer, and then you have your fuel gauge there to the right. And then you have that soft, softly backlit uh, digital gauge there in the bottom. And you can see it's very hot outside. Outside temperature is 100 degrees. Very hot today. So really, really like the simplicity and the styling of this vehicle so over here we have a digital clock real kind of basic kind of old school digital clock there in the top center and then you have your cd player here and then here's your technology your your touchscreen radio so of course you got the volume button and tune through the stations and there's your phone button there to the right but just you know, pushing the auto audio button, you can choose which audio source you want. Uh, Bluetooth audio, XM, AM, FM, you also have the ability to play music through a CD, USB, and an auxiliary uh, input. Now, of course, you can see those are blocked out because there's nothing to play right now, so they just kind of block those out since they're not an option. And you can hit reorder and reorder them in any way you want, which is pretty cool. So pushing this apps button, uh, gives you some icons here and of course you can reorder them uh, you can go into your navigation your audio your phone um, your eco settings uh, set up different things you can also get traffic and weather uh, that's through the XM in combination with the XM radio in combination with the navigation system gives you some pretty cool uh, information there so let's go into the navigation see what the screen looks like and uh, so there's your screen Pretty, pretty simple and you know it's what you would expect with a 
uh, navigation system and you can zoom in and out get your bearings that kind of thing and it looks pretty good I'm not around a whole bunch of stuff from here at the dealership so you see the other roads there alright now let's go to this home button and this gives you a combination of your kind of your radio whatever your radio is doing and your phone and also your navigation screen all at the same time and I can always hit that go to the navigation and I can put in a destination right here and you can you know put in a specific address you can take one out of your address book uh, previous destinations that kind of stuff even emergency like if you need to get to a nearest hospital that kind of stuff really cool features and then here's th seek through your tra stations or your tracks and uh, right under that is where your uh, SD card goes for your maps so you can update your maps uh, every once in a while with that SD card there it does have HD radio so you do have some clear channels so down here is your climate control and it is a dual zone so the driver can have a different uh, temperature than the passenger but you notice right now they're synced together so if I adjust this one it also adjusts the other side to unsync those all you have to do is start adjusting the right side and it unsyncs it and now that you know I can adjust it of course you can always go back into sync by pushing that button and uh, your fan you can turn it on and off here you can also has an automatic mode where you just push that set the temperature and forget about it and but or you can fine-tune everything so like say you can adjust the fan speed where you want the air to blow and then you got your defrosters there all right so let's look down here you do have an eco mode which um, pushing that button will tell the vehicle that you want the best gas mileage possible and you're not really caring too much about the the uh, sportiness of the of your driving now to the right of that is your sport button which gives you the exact opposite you're telling the vehicle you want give me all you got I want all the horsepower and I want all the pep I want this thing to go so it's going to hold your revs a little bit higher it's going to keep you in a higher rpm range to keep you closer to that uh, power band that the engine has and it will um, give you everything the vehicle can give you as far as a performance wise now it's not going to give you any gas mileage so just keep that in mind uh, your sport mode is going to reduce your gas mileage but it's going to be more, probably more fun to drive so over here you got a power supply 12 volt and this is where your auxiliary and your USB inputs are um, so you can play music through those and they're in a good spot where you can you know put your cell phone around here and plug it in and play or your iPod or whatever it happens to be your cell phone typically you'd put through your Bluetooth system alright so we've got some storage pockets down here and um, and then this little cup holder here and I really like the this design of the carbon fiber design here in the center console it really gives it a high high-end look for sure and you got a cup holder down here a pretty good size one which is probably where I would you know put my cell phone it's a little tight for my cell phone I do have a pretty large cell phone so um, you know it's, it's a little bit bigger than that one but anyway that's probably where I'd, I'd wind up putting my cell phone in this vehicle so here's the shifter and it's pretty basic I mean it's just a you know just a basic shifter here so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse like so so you can see the backup camera pops up here and it does have some guidelines reason why is because this vehicle uh, I mean this camera is a wide-angle view and you notice that the ends are distorted a little bit everything's kind of stretched out and the reason for that it gives you a higher visibility so you can see out uh, to the right and left plus you can see from the bumper all the way to the sky so you can see pretty good behind the vehicle but um, you know the guidelines just kind of give you an indicator of how far you are away from something but also how wide the vehicle is when you back up now you notice it has that red line and that that's pretty much the the, the closest you want to come into something because um, you know since the image is just is distorted around the edges that may be you know just like an inch or two away from actually hitting the vehicle so you definitely want to it may look like you've got more room but it's not much at all all right so you can also continue down there's neutral there's drive so now it's in drive mode you can you know cycle it'll cycle through the six gears uh, just by itself you don't have to think about it you're just driving normal there now if you ever want to change through the gears yourself you push it over here now I'm in sport mode and I can cycle through the gears to any gear I want and you, it'll tell you what gear you're in up here on the the dash 
Now I'm not sure if it'll actually let you start off in six gear, but uh, sometimes vehicles will not allow you to go too far out of range as far as the gear ratio, but you do have the, ele the ability to change to the gears if you want to. Especially handy if you're downshifting, going down a hill and you want to use some engine braking. So there's the shifter does have the parking brake there. Now this cup holder also has this little spacer that comes out. And like I said, I was talking about it's a little bit tight for my cell phone. Well, taking the spacer out, it fits in there with lots of room, tons of room now. So the spacer is, uh, you know, for larger cups, you can take the spacer cup out, uh, spacer out, but if you need smaller cups, then you can put the spacer in there. And here's the center arm armrest, and this lifts up and there's your storage good little storage space you can put your spacer your cup holder spacer in there or whatever but uh, this gives you the ability to you know keep some quick access stuff here and it's not too big to where it's not going to get too cluttered up here hopefully rear view mirror does have the manual flippy thing there for day and night mode all right so up here we've got quick access light right here for reading lights and this center button is for turning all your interior lights on putting it right here will allow you to have it, the lights turn on just when the doors open or you can have it completely off to where even with the doors open they will not turn on all right so now this one has the sunroof like I mentioned before right now the sh the shade is completely closed but I can open it up like so and using these buttons, I can open it up. I can close it. Or I can vent it. Vent it up like that. And like if it's a day like today where it's pretty hot, you can close the shade and keep the sun completely out of, off of you. Pretty cool. Alright, let's take a look back here. See what the visibility looks like. Alright, there you have it. 2015 Toyota RAV4 on Mike's Car Info. And I really appreciate you watching. I also thank Sparks Toyota for allowing me to show off this awesome car to the world. I know they're proud of it. And if you have any questions or anything, please leave it in the comment section. Sparks Toyota, even if you're anywhere in the United States, please email them. I'll leave their contact information in the description. I mean, yeah, in the description. So in case you're interested in a Toyota or a Scion, I'm sure they'll be, be able to hook you up in some way, maybe even deliver the vehicle to you. So if you could, um, you know, like this video, subscribe to my channel, send it out to friends, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm doing it for you. I don't work for Sparks Toyota. I work for you. So if you can hook me up with some help, whether it be through monetarily or sharing my videos or stuff like that, I'd really help. That really helps me out. And um, so anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.